Hello everyone. I'm Shannon, an assistant professor in the Department of Commerce at James and Memorial University of In this lecture of uh, comprise accounting software <coughs> for the study, we're going to discuss about ratio analysis and interest calculation. Ratio analysis, as you all know, to study the financial position of a company, you need to look after the ratios of the company. So, <clears throat> one balance sheet gives us the status of the company. And with this final status, uh, sorry, with the items of financial statement, we are able to calculate the ratio analysis of the particular firm. But in case of tally year the nine, we don't need to calculate any sort of ratios. It is already calculated, and we only need to have a uh, overview of that ratios. We don't need to calculate because once we are maintaining the financial account, with there accordingly we are able to see the ratios also. So let's begin. This is the lecture four of uh, unit three. So let's see how the ratio analysis functions in Tally ERP9. So display of ratio analysis is report in Tally ERP9. As I said, we don't need to calculate any sort of ratio. We just have to display the report of ratio analysis because once we are maintaining the financial statement, ratio analysis is already maintained accordingly. Ratio analysis is a powerful tool for the financial analysis. A meaningful analysis of uh, financial statement is made possible by the use of ratios. So ratios are a set of figures compared with the another set. The comparison gives an understanding of the financial position of the business unit. There are a number of ratios which can be computed from a single set of financial statement. The ratios to be computed depend on the purpose for which these ratios are required. A single ratio may sometimes give some information. But to make a comprehensive analysis, a set of interrelated ratios are required to be analyzed. To view the ratio analysis, go to the gateway of tally and we will go to the ratio analysis. The ratio analysis screen is displayed as shown here. So this is the ratio analysis. As I said, as we are maintaining our balance sheet, at the same time we are able to view the ratios also so here you can see the current ratio quick ratio debt debt equity ratio cost profit ratio net profit operating profit so as you calculate these items with profit and gross profit simultaneously you are able to see the ratios also so this is how ratio analysis is displayed in the tally ERP. so we don't need to calculate any type of ratio Security control. So how to analyze security control in Tally ERP9? I think in my previous lecture videos also I have dictated the security portals for this uh, ERP9. Uh, once we are starting with our Tally ERP9, we need to look for some configuration. So in configuration, we need to see these options also. That is security control because security con security control is a, it's one of the most important items which, which needs to be looked for because all the information which is stored in the tally that should not be uh, to avoid the theft of theft of that uh, document or reports. It is very important to maintain the security control in the tally ERP9 for every form. As we can enter the transactions for <clears throat> many forms simultaneously, so it's very important to maintain the security control for each form. So, how to enable the security control in Tally ERP9? First, we load the company which you want to activate the security control. Then, go to the Tally Gateway Tally Company Information, which is Alter 3, uh, then Alter. Select the company and press enter. Now we can, we are in the company alteration screen. In the company alteration screen, locate the security control and set this option to yes. Once we set this option to yes, we are able to maintain the security of the 
particular company. There you need to enter the password, a report password, which is asked. So this is the alteration company alteration screen, which in which, as you can see, there is a security control option. So in this security control option, where it is as uh, use security control, you need to enable that section with yes. And previously, you need to mention the daily password also if you are enabling this feature. Interest calculation. How do we calculate interest? So as you, uh, we, when we take any sort of loan or we are uh, depositing or saving our money somewhere, we need to calculate the interest. So interest is a legitimate return on money invested and, and it is chargeable in the business world on the loans and also on the date payments. So interest can be calculated on basis of simple or compound interest. So with tally ERP-9, you can obtain reports on interest calculated based on the configurations made. So interest is calculated on the outstanding receivables of savings. Again here, we don't need to calculate any sort of interest. This is a feature which is embedded in tally ERP-9 and this feature needs to be enabled in the configuration section. No, in the accounting feature section, which lies in F11. So, press F11, then F1, that is accounting feature. Set the option activate interest calculation to yes. So, either you press control plus A to save the. Once you enable the. Once you enable the uh, interest calculation uh, item, yes, then we need to save it for the company operations alteration. Calculate interest in simple mode. So interest calculation on outstanding balances is allowed for any ledger account. Configure the interest rate and style of calculation in the ledger master to start calculating the interest on outstanding amounts. Interest on outstanding balances can also be calculated transaction by transaction. So go to the gateway of tally, then accounts info, ledgers, alter, single, then XY bank or bank account, whichever bank control. Let the activate interest calculation be here. The interest parameter screen appears. So in the calculate interest based on field, select the data type as this is required. And for include, set the include transaction date for interest calculation. This can be enabled for the amounts added or for the amounts deducted. Enter the rate of interest. Select the interest style as required. The rate of interest will be calculated on the basis of interest style applied. And very important. If the interest style selected is 365 days a year. Then the interest will be calculated for 365 days irrespective of the number of days in the calendar year. If the calendar is selected as the interest time, then the rate of interest will be calculated on 365 days or 360 days depending on the number of days as per the calendar. Select the required details in the fields of ledger creation scheme. Now press the 2 plus A to save. Interest calculation can be done bill by bill by for the accounts, group under Sunday letters and Sunday creditors. If the party ledger alteration scheme that is we set active interest calculation to yes, the interest parameter scheme will appear. Select the calculate interest transactions by transaction to yes. Then set override parameters for each transaction to yes to change the parameters during the voucher or invoice entry. Enter the rate of interest in the field rate. Select the interest style as required. The rate of interest will be calculated on the basis of interest style applied. Calculate interest in advance mode. The advance parameters are also used when the interest rates change periodically. So the number of days, balance type, and applicable from day to be considered for interest calculation can be configured using advance parameters. Enable the advanced parameter that is go to gateway of tally, F11 features, then accounting features F1. Set activate interest calculation to yes. 
set use advanced parameters here and then select accept to change the select control plus a to accept the changes set advanced configuration for a party in the party ledger master set calculate interest transaction by transaction to yes calculate the interest for each transaction set override parameter for each transaction to yes to display the interest parameters screen while recording the transaction the defined parameters can be modified during the voucher entry now set the override advanced parameters to yes enter the rate of interest select the interest type as required the rate of interest will be calculated on the basis of interest type applied select the balance on which the interest has to be calculated interest can be calculated on credit balance debit balance or both credit and debit balances select the applicability of interest as required if the past due date is selected then the number of days after which interest has to be applied can be specified select the date from which interest is applicable in the calculate from field select the rounding of select the rounding method applicable to in the rounding field select not applicable for saving values as it is without uh, as it is without rounding off then define multiple slabs to different rates and applicability interest parameter streams with multiple slabs appear as shown so interest parameters calculate interest transaction transaction is set as yes override parameters is also yes rate 5% per 365 days a year or debit balance only applicability past due date then uh, debit balance is only so this is the dialog box of the interest parameters which is selected then press ctrl a to accept the configuration and ctrl a to save the ledger also in case of the above configuration interest will be calculated 5% starting from the 10th day due date and at 10% starting from 60th day Sorry. 60th day after due date similarly multiple slabs can be configured with different interest styles applicability and calculate from the rounding so this is how we'll calculate the interest and so that's all for today where we saw that ratio calculation need not to be done it is already calculated accordingly along with the maintenance of financial statement and then you see the security control needs to be maintained to save the uh, required documents and to secure the documents and interest calculation can be done on many methods it's up to the uh, person who, who maintains the account to for how in what by what method he needs to maintain the account for the investment that's all for today thank you